Hi everybody, it's Laura from Lawrence Branch and I have another rock craft for you today. Um, when you go on vacation, what do you like to bring home as a souvenir? We all have our different uh, preferences. Generally, if I've got no restrictions on how much I can bring home, I like to bring something that really is not emblazoned um, with, with the name of the place that I've been, but something that I might um, know that I bought at that spot and that will mean something to me. Um, a couple years ago, I took a trip to Europe, a solo trip, and I went to numerous countries in a little bit under a month, and I was carrying one backpack, and I just didn't have room to bring much home. So one thing I did do was just bring small pebbles from some of the different countries that I visited. So these are from Holland, France, the United Kingdom, and Italy, and Switzerland. So doing something like that is a nice way of having us this in this case it was by necessity something very small and I do love gardening and this just sits out here in my garden and everybody knows not to mix these in with our under other rocks because they're important to me. Um, and we also like to vacation not too too far away in a, in a place where there's a lot of shale rock and so recently I decided to make a shale rock uh, souvenir and in this case it looks like this and I did kind of go online and get the idea of what can you do with shale rock and you can paint the larger pieces and I didn't quite want to do that but there is an artist in Pennsylvania and I will show you um, her website and her artwork that looks like this, which kind of inspired me. And these, you can't really tell the scale in this picture, but they're pocket-sized pieces of art. So as I said, we have a lot of shale where we like to go. And I went out and I dug some up and I had shale in lots of different sizes. And so what I did was I had this tin uh, from a, a jewelry, jewelry company that I've got a bunch of these. And so I, I really don't know how to work with um, cement or masonry. I didn't really want to be bothered with all that. So this is kind of like doing a mosaic without all the fuss of a mosaic. So you'll see in my videos that I simply started by laying my pieces of shale down and I kind of fit them in like a puzzle. And so this is not really cemented in, but it does stay. After that, I painted them and then I even um, painted them more with different colors and then I did a sealer finisher. So I could use this as a paperweight um, and I hope to actually do more of these. It was really a lot of fun. And so if you don't have shale, you could certainly do it with pebbles. There are a lot of websites that show you garden mosaics, um, but this will be special to me because of where I got the stone. And the second idea is this. had some giftware glass that I had salvaged, I didn't buy it, and I had four of these plus a larger plate. And so I decided to make decoupage uh, pieces into the back of one of these plates. And so I can use this as, you know, a little place to put my keys or jewelry or something like that. So again, this plan will not work with kids because they always want you to buy them something. But if you just bring home your brochures from the areas where you vacation, you will get artwork. You could certainly use your own photos. But what I found was that um, obviously the maps are good. And if you use anything that has a list, um, a calendar of events, all of those events are always spot on with um, the kinds of events that are going on in that area and the things that you probably participated in. So I picked words that had to do with scenery and nature and the outdoors. And then I didn't pick the ones that had to do with um, hunting, shooting, things like that. So this will serve as definitely something very personal that will mean something to me. And you might be able to talk older kids into making something like this. And um, it doesn't have to be on something as nice as this. This has never been used before. Uh, you probably have glassware and uh, even you could do it on wood if you wanted to. And then of course, after I uh, sprayed my back and I put, glued my pieces on, I used spray glue in this case. Um, you know I like to do that, but you could use regular glue. I did a coat of sealer finisher. 
So you have two ideas for using nature to have a nice souvenir of a place you like to go or making something yourself. I hope you do this craft and I hope to see you next time.